So we're at the end of this amazing eight-day retreat. How are you feeling? I am feeling relieved, Mitchell. It's yeah. been just uh, so much more of an amazing journey than I could have ever imagined. Uh, I came in here with a, a preconception of, of what I was going to write and, and wrote that. And it took me the better part of six days to really get what I came here to write. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, unloading a lot of, of crap um, to get to, to the essence. And, uh, and you got there? And, and I, I got there. It's, um, I got there very clearly, very deeply. And, um, and it was a surprise, um, but has allowed me to now see much more clearly the, the, the way forward. That's and uh, yeah, I, it's just been um, well, how un you unimaginable. How did the group that was supporting this? What was your feeling about just the, the group aspect of the whole? You know, I'm. I'll be honest, Mitchell. I'm not much of a. I'm not much of a group guy. You know, you get in these circle jerks, and it's all lovey feely, touchy huggy, and that's just really, you know, not me. It seems like it is. Well, I, 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 I can be that. I, I can do all of those things. Yeah, you know, but when called upon. Right, when called upon. Now, now having said that, I one of the things that that emerged for me is is a a new. Uh, appreciation of, of group and, and, and how a group can support um, each other because really th there, were, there were a couple of times that came out of the group wh when we came out of the group uh, that I was moved to, to my emotional depths and I, I think the group was what helped me tap into those emotions and go deeper and see what, it, it get to the essence. And, and I don't think I would have gotten there without, without the group, without that dynamic, without the authentic sharing and courage that they provided and, 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 and supported me to, to go there. So. Sort of like when one person takes a risk, everyone else becomes, their hearts become available. Yes. And, you know, and, and to see, you know, to hear and see and witness just the, the true, authentic, you know, raw emotions of people and, and, and the passion that they, that they were, were feeling, it, it can't help but rub off on you, totally. you know, unless you're an alien, which I have been accused of being an alien <laughs> at times. Yeah. Well, it might be that we're all aliens with an alien heart. <laughs> there we go. I, I'll, I'll take that. that. That works. Hey, Will, thanks a lot. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Indira, and I live here in Sedona in the chapel area. It's really beautiful. Welcome. So what inspired you to come to this retreat? Well, I think it's more of a, a getting something out of me that has always been sitting in there. for Since 1997, I started writing, so I have lots and lots of books around me, and I've always loved books, but I haven't been able to put anything together. So you feel like a book is visiting you now that it's time to come out with? It's more like it's kicking me, waking me up at night, you know, trying to get out. Mm -hmm. How long yeah. has that been happening? Um, when I spoke to Tom, the symptoms went away. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, seriously, it has been for a very long time, about five years. I'd have like um, downtime when I work for a few weeks and instead of doing nothing and worrying, I just kind of let it flow and so it's been a while. Wonderful. So do you have any fears about writing? Um, panicking, yeah. <laughs> a little nervous. Um, it just what, seems what's overwhelming. What's the fear? What do you think it is? It's just a lot of information, not knowing how to put it together, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have confidence that it's going to come through, how to do it? I'm 100% sure because I'm very um, intuitive. And ever since I spoke with Tom and I read his book, it kind of started to take form. So I'm really excited. Thank you. Hi, my name is Indira. So Indira, I understand that you just completed your book? Uh, yes, I have. Is that so? Yes. It's not just a rumor? No. When did you finish? I thought I was done yesterday, and I was so excited. I had so much energy, and the truth is there was a little bit more left. So Tom kind of wanted me to play with it a little bit more, and um, 
I really finished it today, and I wrote my dear Oprah letter. And so he said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, it's morning, dear Oprah. He says, it's done. Wow. Fabulous. Congratulations. That's great. Is it the book that you initially intended to write when you came here first or not? The book, I think, wrote itself. There was so much more from that space. It, I call it synchronized or synthesized itself. Um, I had a few ideas about the topics and um, been writing for years, never could get anything done. But the book wrote itself and it was a really amazing story, one that I couldn't have made up. It was just perfect. Mm, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us and congratulations on your book. Thanks. Hi, my name is Rian Leslie Dove and I'm living in Sedona right now. I lived here for about 20 years. I've been traveling for about five years and now I'm back in the beautiful Red Rocks. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Um, what is it that inspired you to take this uh, retreat? Well, I'm a friend of Andras, who uh, is one of the attendees, and he sent out an email about this retreat. And as soon as I got it, I just felt so much hope because I'm a writer. I've been writing for many years. But there's something that's blocking me or been blocking me from really getting my work forward and completing. And I've been praying about getting support. And I don't go to workshops. I don't have a lot of teachers. But I called Tom right away. I went and interviewed with him. He spent like two hours with me. And I felt the man was a gatekeeper, a wizard for writers, someone who I could really relate to and who had the, the spiritual and mental and emotional power to really help me um, speak forward the voice that I know is in me and is ready to come out right now. Great. Do you feel that there is a book brewing inside you that's ready to come out? Yes, I do. And uh, I, I've had many ideas and written on many books, but Tom opened me to the idea that it might be something completely different that was going to come out. And when I felt into that, it felt like perhaps there was something that wanted to be said before the other things get said that I wasn't in touch with. Mm. And that by coming, that voice was going to come out and say what it really wants to, and then everything else can follow, like opening the gateway. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited. Great. Now, do you feel any fear connected to this process at all? I have felt some fears. I think um, just the little bit of fear, like, is it really going to happen when you've been wanting something for so long? Um, you know, and you're just like, wow, is, could it really happen? I have an agent waiting for me. I have so many things lined up and uh, yet seeing the completion of this, I do have a fear of whether the right book will come through or if it will have a, the quality that could get published. So yes, I, I do have some sure. fears, but I have a lot more confidence and an intuitive feeling that this is a an experience that not only is going to help me, but that is kind of a breakthrough experience in the literary world. And I'm Wonderful. really excited to be part of that. Wonderful. Thank you, Rian. You're welcome.